When Jade spotted Tallulah, she thought she'd found the perfect pooch to pop in her handbag. But this bitch came with baggage. Once home, the cute lapdog mutated into a vicious, malicious, mauling monster. Enter Victoria Stillwell. No dog has ever got the better of her. Come, watch me. But she's going to need nerves of steel to take on Tallulah, the hound from hell. If this dog was a human, it would be either in prison or in a mental institution. Today, Victoria's heading to Bromley in Kent to meet Tallulah, a two-year-old pedigree hairless Chinese crested. Six months ago, 20-year-old ex-model Jade Towney and her sister Chelsea bought two-year-old Tallulah thinking she'd be the perfect pooch to pose with. Jade got Tallulah as a fashion accessory dog, so she'd be like Paris Hilton. We did look at two chihuahuas first, because we were both going to get one, but it was too fat and it wouldn't fit in a bag. She is a bit of a poser's dog, so that's why I wanted her. Jade and Chelsea pride themselves on always looking good. But whilst Tallulah might be Bromley's best-dressed bitch, this little madam is displaying anything but model behaviour. <laughs> and it's sister Chelsea who bears the brunt when this supermodel throws a fit. Ooh. You know when Tallulah's going to attack you because she gives you an evil look and then she just pounces. <laughs> Although she's equally happy to attack friends, Tallulah, <laughs> relatives, and that dog takes the biscuit. Well, there's your finger. The caretaker, Tallulah, is the dog from hell. And anyone who gets in her way, especially old ladies. Tallulah just turned into this like beast and just trying to bite the old lady's legs, and the old lady was petrified. In fact, she'll go for anyone who comes within three feet. A real danger for Jade, whose 18-month-old son is dangerously mobile. It is very worrying for me that she might, and she could do a lot of damage because he's only a baby. The hairless Chinese crested breed is very rare. They originate from Africa, where they were called African hairless terriers. Chinese trading ships stopped along Africa en route and acquired the dogs to be ratters on board. Ancient Aztecs kept them as bed warmers and also ate them. In fact, they were so treasured by ancient ladies who lunched, these prized pooches were nearly eaten into extinction. But in this household, it's Tallulah who's at the top of the food chain. With a name that means leaping water, perhaps it's no surprise that Tallulah wheeze and poos all over the house. Tallulah, what's that? Naughty dog! It's not even just like she's just weed and then gone out. She's obviously come back throughout the whole day and just carried on weeing on my bed. When we wake up in the morning, we'll always expect to see a wee or a poo just left. And then she's weed down there. Just now, she's just weed in front of us. It's all left Chelsea feeling decidedly blue. What idiot left my door open? And it's beginning to take its toll on the sisters' relationship. It starts off with something silly about Tallulah's wee. But then they evolve into bigger arguments, and recently she has threatened to move out. Now we've got Tallulah. There's a wedge sort of driving us apart now. I've thought about putting Tallulah down recently because she's getting to the point where she's just uncontrollable. <laughs> she's bitten so many people, she's really unpredictable. If this doesn't work, it is, will be the end for Tallulah and she'll be on a little deaf doggy death row. There'll be no more Tallulah anymore. The situation is desperate. Jade has called in Victoria Stillwell. She's Tallulah's last hope. Dogs aren't fashion accessories and people who do more posing than training can find that their lap dogs turn into uncontrollable and sometimes dangerous animals. Victoria will spend her first day getting to the root of Tallulah's problems. But Tallulah doesn't seem too impressed. Tell me what the deal is. Um, when we have people round, Tallulah attacks them, she bites people. How many people would you say she's bitten? It must be at least over 15 people. Does she go for the leg or does she go for anywhere? She, she doesn't usually go for the feet, she usually go for the leg, the thigh, or if she can, she'll go for your face or your hands. I see she's very tense right at yeah. this moment. 
Was she like this when she came to you? Three days after having her, we started to see the growling. It was the aggression started around me. If anyone came near me, she'd hide and growl. Where did you get her from? Um, we got to Lula from a breeders in Essex. They were just empty concrete kennels with just concrete on the bottom. They didn't have any beds. Most of the other dogs were with other dogs, but she was alone. She was by herself. Yeah, and I saw her there, and she was really nervous. The very fact that she was alone in a cage at the age of two makes me think that this poor dog hasn't had a great start in life whatsoever. When you go and see a dog in the back of a cage, and it's shivering, the human side of us wants to, to mother and to take the one that's timid and cowering, but actually, you took the liability. And Tallulah is a liability in every sense. I see some poo here. Does this happen a lot? Yeah. She'll half do it somewhere, then do it somewhere else. So that, that would be Tallulah in the corner right. where no one can see it. Could you show me the other places where she wheezed? This is where she did it on the bed. I've taken the sheet off to show you a big wet Oh, patch. she's weed all? Yeah, she'll wee and she'll carry on laying on the bed. And obviously no one wants to sleep in that. Mm. It's just disgusting. No. Fully briefed on Tallulah's toileting habits, Victoria wants to observe the behaviour that's giving everyone most cause for concern, Tallulah's terrible temper. I want to see how close you can get to her before she starts getting... So, should you sit on the sofa? Okay. I'm going to come stand next to you. And then, if you just come a little bit towards her and see what she does. I don't want to... OK. So back away, that's fine. Just back away. But will Tallulah dare to try it on with Victoria? Okay. She is giving you warnings, isn't she? She's watching you. Over you go. And then she sees you coming close, and then she does them in the mouth. <coughs> All right. Jay, do you mind going out the door now? All right, yeah. Don't let her follow you. I am. OK. But if you went to go up and touch her now, she wouldn't like it, or would she be fine? She normally would just sit there and she will shake, but she won't, she won't like it, but she won't do anything about she it. She won't do anything. Do you mind if I just see that? No, that's fine. Just, just, you know, go up to her and just... No. OK, so don't, don't, don't... <laughs> Keep your eyes away from her now. <laughs> she does go for you. You're very time. brave. I'm not going to ask you to do anything else. Tallulah's behaviour might be dangerous, but her fashion sense is criminal. I'm all into putting coats on dogs to keep them warm. And this is a prime example of something that is not good for a dog. I mean, it looks like a little baby's jacket, but actually, when you put it on your dog, it makes movement a lot harder. Leg warmers. Just in case our feet get cold. Her legs. her legs are going to get cold <laughs> because her paws are going to be on the ground whether she's wearing leg warmers or not. I mean, these went out in the 1980s, didn't they? <laughs> Why did you want to have a small dog? I do like the idea of having a little lap dog that I can carry in my mm. arm and, and dress up and take out, so there was the novelty factor. I see dog as a dog, not a fashion accessory, and a lot of people that do have these little dogs just as a fashion accessory should not own dogs. I don't agree with it. If things get worse, you'll have no reason to use these anymore. Right. Having roasted Jade over Tallulah's doggy styling, it's time to hit the high street. Shoppers of Bromley, beware. Do you bring her out to a lot of places like this, to shopping centres and things? Not anymore, because she attacks everyone on the street. We'd be walking along and she'd nip at people. She'll bite somebody as they walk past. Yeah. If anyone she takes a particular dislike to, she'll just snap or, or bite them. <laughs> Old ladies seem to be the target that she usually attacks, and men as well. And one vicious outburst too many convinces Victoria that she's seen enough. I am shocked by what I've seen here today. I've seen a dog that is so aggressive and so scared that it's biting people in and out of the house. I've seen a dog that wheezes and poos everywhere. I've seen two girls who are completely naive, who bought a dog as a fashion accessory and now have a massive liability. If this dog was a human, it would be either in prison or in a mental institution. It's time for a reality check. Unfortunately, this is where a lot of dogs with Tallulah's problems end up. 
And even though this might seem a little dramatic, I want to ram it home to you that this is no longer a joke, but this is the reality. Just upsets me to think that that could be to do that in that box. This dog could die because she hasn't been given the proper guidance by you. You now have to forget dressing her up, forget the diamonds, forget them. You're now going to have to start seeing her as a dog, not a fashion accessory, and start treating her as the dangerous dog she is and start taking major, major responsibility. Working with Victoria, I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I think I might get a bit times of her bossing me around, but at the end of the day, I know that it's for Tallulah's sake, and if it can help her, then I'm prepared to do anything. The following morning, training begins. Victoria wants to start by addressing the strained relationship between Tallulah and Chelsea. You're not Tallulah's best friend. Right. Jade is. Right. Now, I know you've been the recipient of a lot of bites and a lot of attacks, but I want to give you some confidence now because nervous people make dogs nervous. Right. I'm going to teach you the best friend technique, which is a technique that I use to gain trust. Immediately, your body language is less offensive to her, less threatening. From now on, you're going to just sit on the floor, take some chicken in your hand, there, and start feeding a little bits of chicken. Tell a good girl. Oh, I say good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Lovely. Yeah. Very good. Don't even stroke her to begin with. Don't stroke her. Good girl. Set up. Good girl. The combination of constant praise and treats soon changes the way Tallulah sees Chelsea. Now she's coming. Oh, now you're a best good friend. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Good girl. It's a great result. At last, Chelsea can sit on the sofa next to her sister without being savaged. Hopefully things will change from here, but there's still a long way to go, so I'm not getting my hopes up too high. With Tallulah behaving better for her owners, Victoria wants to tackle her aggression towards visitors. What I've witnessed in the house, with friends coming in and being bitten, is absolutely intolerable. Tallulah! So it's now your job to keep your guests safe. Now, the removal technique is all about getting her attention without stressing her out further. And the sound aversion we're going to use is just a simple clap of the hands. Then, the second part of this technique is removal. Removal makes her less able to control her environment and shows her that you're in charge. I don't give a chicken, I don't talk to her, I don't look at her, nothing. We just stay out there till she calms down then I bring her back in again, and we just carry on as normal. Yep. And when Tallulah snaps, Victoria immediately responds with sound aversion. Clap. <laughs> Take her out. Now I'm just waiting here for her to calm down. I'm not giving her any eye contact. I'm not giving her any attention. We're just standing here. Now I feel she's a bit more relaxed. I'm going to come in back into the room again. Good girl. What a good girl. Wait till she's calm. OK. And then bring her back in again. Up. Up, up. Immediately. That's it. That's it. Good. Brilliant. That was a double whammy. You did the clap, Jade took her out. After a while, the removal technique begins to take effect, and Sammy's soon proving less attractive than a dog's dinner. Good girl! Good girl. Good girl. I'm quite shocked that it's working so soon. Yeah. It's really good. You wouldn't have been able to have gone near her without her biting someone yeah. before. And I think it's all about giving her confidence. Victoria may have succeeded in making Jade and Chelsea's home a safer place, but there's still Tallulah's terrible toileting to tackle. From now on, we're going to get her to become a confident toileter. And that's the reason why I've got you what's known as an umbilical lead. 
From now on, Jade and Tallulah will be literally joined at the hip. Never again will she be able to sneak off for a secret wee. Never, ever give her a chance to toilet in this flat again. Remember to look for the signs that she might be ready to toilet. Anything from scratching on the floor like this, circling either in either direction. Be prepared, and when you see them, take her straight outside. OK. Right. Right. And with Tallulah firmly attached, Jade gets on with her housework, keeping an eye out for those telltale toileting signs. It's not long before they spot that Tallulah is preparing to piddle. I have seen a little bit of sniffing on the ground, right. so let's get our coats on, put her coat on and go outside. Okay. Toilet training is more than simply yanking your pooch outside. There's the magic wee word too. When you see her wee, as she's weeing, put a word to it so that she can associate that word with the actual action of peeing. Okay. So that in a couple of weeks' time, when you bring her out, you can she'll actually go. say, go pee or go wee, and she'll know that that's her cue to go and have a pee. OK, cool. But Tallulah's not used to alfresco weeing, and despite some encouraging sniffs and some teasing squats, the only thing being passed is time. Good girl. Then, just as hope is fading, Tallulah performs. Go pee, go pee. Good girl. I love it when dogs pee here for the first time outside. It's so exciting. Good girl. Good girl. And the journey towards a wee-free home has begun. Over the past two years, Tallulah's developed a taste for the Blue Rinse Brigade, with the merest whiff of lavender oil sending her into a frenzy. So with Tallulah responding well to training, it's time to hit the high street. I always think it's important that you see the world from your dog's point of view, which is the reason why I have this blanket. Oh, no. Take hold of the sides of the blanket, and if we put it down on the ground, then what you have to do is just kneel on it for a second. Tallulah is about one foot tall. The world's a very scary place from down there. People come up to her all the time, go past her all the time out on the street, and she's scared of them. So she's reacting in the only way that she knows how. She's basically telling them to sod off. And it works because they go, oh, your dog's aggressive, and they walk off. So she's been successful, and she'll do it again and again and again and again. What you have to do now is you have to scan your environment and make sure that she never, ever has the chance to get to that point again. Echoing the indoor removal training, Victoria introduces Jade and Chelsea to her positive action technique. Dup, dup, dup. Her body tensed, her ears went back, she started to go, but I got her before that emotion became too strong and she launched. The technique has three stages. At the first sign of aggression, when Tallulah's ears go back, her body tenses or she begins to lunge, Victoria issues a vocal command to distract her. Followed by a quick about turn to change Tallulah's focus. Let's go. And a tasty treat to reward her when she's calm. Oh, yes, good girl. With a firm hand on the lead, Jade takes charge. Good girl, good girl, good girl, Tallulah, good girl. Good girl. Okay, watch her body language. Good girl. Watch the tension. Watch her ears Run. go back. That's it. Fabulous. <laughs> Let's wait. Good girl. Tallulah. And after a few about turns, Tallulah seems to be getting the message. Window shopping is much more fun than ankle biting. It looks like Bromley's pensioners may be safe to shop in peace. Lovely. That's brilliant, Jade. That's brilliant. With teaching over, it's time for Victoria to leave Jade, Chelsea and Tallulah to train alone. Yeah. 
A few weeks later, Victoria's back to see how Jade, Chelsea and their once lethal lapdog have been getting on. Good to see Hi, you. Hey, how are you? Oh, she's really good. I've got loads to tell you. Come on. Not a park. All right, so how's it all going, dare I ask? It's gone really well. I mean, her behaviour, like, in the house, she's been really good with Sammy and Chelsea. And she actually went up to Sammy the other day and kind of poured at her leg for attention, which is the f we've never seen her do anything like that before. Now, what, what happens if strangers come in? She hasn't been as aggressive. I mean, if they go towards her, She'll growl at them mm. and then run off and hide. Mm. But she hasn't been as snappy mm. as she usually was. Mm. The toilet training's gone really well as well. Before, she'd go out for a walk and she wouldn't go, and then she'd come in the house and do it literally straight mm -hmm. after. But now, I tell her to go for a pee, and she knows and she starts sniffing around, and she'll, mm. she'll generally go, and then we praise her, and then she'll come back in. Very good. Yes. Good girl. No more pee and poo in the house. The now. odd one, but not yeah. half as much as there was. Eager to see the change in behaviour for herself, Victoria and the girls head for the high street. Good girl, Tallulah. Good girl. What has walking been like for her? She yeah, actually wants she to go out now. She does? Yeah. yeah. When okay. you walk to the door, she runs to the door if she wants to go with you. Her tail is actually wagging yeah. a little bit yeah. more. Good girl. She seems to be a little happier. Victoria's time training tear away Tallulah has come to an end. She's taught the girls how to interpret Tallulah's behaviour and therefore control it. Like most dogs, Tallulah views direct eye contact as a threat, so to avoid provoking a dog, never stare directly at it. Chelsea, just take your eyes away from me. Don't look at it. If a dog pulls back its ears and tenses its body, it's a sign of aggression, so take immediate action. <laughs> And finally, remember that understanding your dog's body language is crucial to toilet training. I love it when dogs pee here for the first time outside. It's so exciting. Good girl. Victoria's training and the girls' hard work seems to have paid off. Everyone's feeling the benefit. Victoria really changed our lives, really. She just changed Tallulah's behaviour. She changed Tallulah's life as well as ours. We're like a little family now, all three of us. I'm really happy that Chelsea and Jade can live a normal life with her dog. Effectively, what we've done is we've brought a dog under control and brought two sisters together.